Okay, let's get this party started. It's the morning. It's been minus 15 Fahrenheit for the last several days. Um, this is an 1,100 square foot house built in 1952. Uh, I'm using a Hasty Heat RMH heat reserving fireplace. It was extinguished last night at 10 p.m. when I went to bed. That's no fire burning all night. It's the only source of heat in this old house. And, uh, well, in the living room here, we've got, by the window, uh, that wasn't it. Uh, there we go. 52 degrees Fahrenheit at the couch. The uh, stove here, oh, yep, yeah, there it is. Got a pot of water on it that's still very nice and warm for the hands. Um, we've got 57 degrees Fahrenheit radiating out the top. Let's see what this has to say. 59.3 degrees Fahrenheit. So the core in there of uh, stone has still got quite a bit of heat radiating into the house that kept the house from freezing overnight. Uh, that's pretty lovely, and I didn't have to leave an unattended fire. Uh, yeah, heat reserving, that's the way to go. You get to burn a quick, clean fire and and then just let it do its job radiating out into the house. I'm about to light this thing here and do a time-lapse FLIR video of, of the uh, infrared light bulb there flaring up, emitting all of that. Oh, uh, here, let's check the wall here. Why is that so bright? Well, there it is. So that rock wall got pretty heat soaked by the infrared radiating out that that uh, Bell heat exchanger. So we got like a delta T from one side of the room to the other of uh, um, seven degrees Fahrenheit or so. That's not bad. Um, and that was over by the window. Anyways, time to fire this thing up, warm up the house for the morning and get to the day's activities. <laughs> 